Welcome back. Today I have a couple articles for you where we're going to drill down on some news with Ripple. First, Ripple unveils CBDC platform to enable governments and other institutions to issue national digital securities. This is from the Daily Hoddle. Payments platform Ripple is unveiling a new protocol that would allow large-scale institutions to issue their own central bank digital currencies. According to a new press release, Ripple Labs is announcing the Ripple CBDC platform, a project that would allow central banks, financial institutions, and governments to manage and customize their own CBDCs and stablecoins. Today, Ripple is announcing the Ripple CBDC platform, a frictionless end-to-end -end solution for central banks, governments, and financial institutions to issue their own central bank digital currency. Leveraging the power of the same blockchain technology used on the XRP ledger, the enhanced platform will now allow its users to holistically manage and customize the entire life cycle of fiat-based central bank digital currency transaction and distribution. The Ripple CBDC platform enables central banks and governments to bring the next level of digitization to their financial services while promoting access to millions of people around the world who are unbanked. The CBDC platform would allow users to fully customize the full life cycle of their digital assets, from minting and distributing to redemption and destruction, according to the press release. It would also allow financial institutions who hold large amounts of the CBDC they created to manage and participate in inter-institutional settlement and distribution functions, as well as to put an end to the need for crypto wallets as virtual assets will be held in banks for the same way traditional fiat currencies are. End of article. So that's very interesting. I really liked this last paragraph because frankly, it kind of shocked me to hear that it will put an end to the need for crypto wallets as virtual assets will be held in banks the same way traditional fiat currencies are. That is very interesting. And that's not something I think that's widely thought about out there. So that was uh, news to me that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully that was something you learned today as well. And then this other article is from CoinGape um, and it's from Ripple Joins Hong Kong's Initial E. HKD pilot program. It says Ripple is partnering with one of the largest, one of the biggest Taiwan commercial banks, Fubon Bank, to exhibit its use case under the pilot project. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority, HKMA, on Thursday announced the launch of the EHKD pilot program. It mentioned that a total of 16 firms were selected from the financial, payment, and technology sectors. However, Ripple Labs turned out to be one of the firms chosen to showcase the real estate asset tokenization solution. Ripple to partner with Fubon Bank. As per the release, HKMA's pilot central bank digital currency program will look to explore crucial uses involving the settlement of Web3 transactions, tokenized assets, and tokenized deposits. The authority will utilize its three rail approach in order to roll out the EHKD. Ripple is reportedly partnering with one of the biggest Taiwan-based commercial banks, Fubon Bank, to exhibit its use case under the pilot project. It added that the blockchain firm will focus on real estate asset tokenization and equity release leveraging. According to Ripple, real-world asset tokenization is predicted to be a multi-trillion dollar market by 2030. However, tokenizing such commodities is also gaining traction among the financial services and government sectors. It added that Ripple's combined solution for EHKD tokenized real estate and lending protocols will run on a secure ledger as same as XRP ledger. This development comes in when the blockchain firm is facing a long running legal battle against US Securities and Exchange Commission, which focus on the characterization of its native token XRP. The recent court rulings turned out to be positive for Ripple and other defendants in the XRP lawsuit. However, both parties are still waiting for a summary judgment. End of article. So those I thought were really interesting today and a lot of fun, interesting news happening. There's no shortage of positive things happening for Ripple and also for XRP. 
And I think what I am taking from the second article that I shared with you is that how Ripple is so global, number one, and how it's a major player, the predominant player in such a huge marketplace. We keep reading about multi-trillion dollar marketplaces and how Ripple is the dominant leader. So it's very exciting. Our future is bright. I think we are extremely early in this whole trend, but the next period of time will get very interesting, especially as soon as the lawsuit is over. And Brad Garlinghouse said it should be over by the end of September, end of Q3. I think there's a chance it could be over sometime possibly in July, maybe, because originally we had heard Q2, and if they moved into Q3, it might be that it just took a little bit longer. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking it might be July, but he gave us a couple extra months just to not tip off the actual exact timing, but to give us more of a wide berth on what the timing might be. So let's see what happens, but it looks like we're getting closer and closer. It would be great if we could get some kind of decision in May or even June, and hopefully that will happen. I can't rule that out, hopefully that will. But nonetheless, it looks really good for Ripple. This decision that the judge made that the Hinman emails are going to be unsealed is a major step forward and a possible indicator showing that maybe Ripple is the winner in this whole situation. So let's hope so. And I'll continue to bring good news to you and continue to drill down with some of these very interesting articles and announcements that Ripple has, not the least of which was the acquisition of Medico, which is its own custody and storage provider, a Swiss-based company, which uh, really allows Ripple to expand into an area that is necessary and probably very fundamental to their business and i was happy to see brad make an acquisition and i think we will see more of that particularly after the lawsuit's over but maybe that's also another indicator that we're close to the lawsuit being over so there's some really good signs out there there's some really positive things happening behind the scenes and i think we just have to stay positive and focused and um, patient and this will uh, get worked out in due time and I think in our favor. So we will hang in there. Penny apparently agrees with me. <laughs> My dog just shook her collar. Yes, she agrees. So thank you for listening. And um, remember that all of my podcasts are available on my YouTube page as well as on Apple Podcasts. And if you're looking for uh, some little wealth tips daily, go to my Instagram page at instagram.com forward slash Linda P. Jones for completely different content over there. And if you are liking this article, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk with you later. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart.